Hello, this is Dr. Campbell's Science Demo, and today we're going to be talking about gravity. Hello, my name is Dr. James Campbell, and today I'm going to be talking to you about gravity. We're going to do a little experiment and check that the law of gravity hasn't changed in the last 400 years or so. So the experiment's going to involve two beer cans, one full of water, the other full of air, and I'm going to climb up a step ladder and drop them off. So let's have a little think about what's going to happen with those. Okay, now you've had time to think, let's go and find out what actually happens. Okay, well I would say they pretty much landed at the same time, so let's try and explain that now. Okay, well according to Newton, the force of gravity is, uh, is a force attracting two bodies together. It's proportional to the product of their masses, and it's inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them. Right, okay. The gravitational field strength of the Earth is 9.81 newtons per kilogram, which for the sake of a science demo, I think we can call 10 newtons per kilogram. That means for every kilogram of weight that you have, you have 9.81 or 10 newtons of force pulling you down. So if you weigh 2 kilograms, there are, you know, the force pulling you down is 19.6 newton newtons. Newton also told us that force equals mass times acceleration, and therefore acceleration equals force divided by mass. So let's think about that in terms of our beer cans. Now the empty can weighed about 50 grams. The full can weighed about 550 grams. So we've got about an 11 fold difference there. The, uh, the, f the force required to accelerate the full can would have been about 11 times that of the empty can, but also the force due to gravity pulling the full can down was about 11 times that of the empty can. So with those two balancing out, the acceleration is the same. Now the world is a complicated place and there's always something to get in the way and screw things up, namely the atmosphere. So the caveat to all this is of course that every object falling through an atmosphere has a terminal velocity where the force of gravity pulling you down balances the force required to push through the air to, that you're going past. So if we redid the experiment with say two objects of the same weight but different shapes and sizes like maybe a big sheet of paper that weighed the same as a pencil and we drop them off a step ladder I imagine that the pencil would hit the ground first because the paper has a lot lower terminal velocity well I'm glad we cleared that up I'll see you next time bye